morning guys, Gemma here and back again for another pickups video and today it is going to be from this video right here when we did the retro game hunt last weekend at the the Voncaster? The, Don <laughs> the Doncaster video game market. I took my nephew down and you will find the 21 minute tour look around retro game hunt video in the cards if you guys want to go and check it out after you've seen the stockpile of stuff that I've bought here. Now I've spent about 200 quid I'm going to be showing you everything and I got a game that I've been looking for for absolutely ages and I'm elated but I'm going to save it to last. So make sure you guys in the meantime hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Uh, we got more coming this week with streams and videos and various other things so stay tuned guys don't, don't you dare go anywhere. Hopefully we can get through this video without any bloopers meaning the very loud motorbikes that drive past my house. Damn you main road. But without further ado guys, let's take a look um, at some awesome retro game pickups. Gonna drop in with some real bargains now. Um, I'm gonna show you this straight away because it's on top, you can kind of see it anyway. Uh, we got the charging cable right here as well. Um, it is a really nice Pikachu Nintendo Game Boy SP. Now this was only £30 and it was from a store um, that was kind of like all, it was on the video you'll see, you'll hear me say I spent about 90 quid. Um, and this was £30. Now for me I think this is actually really cheap at £30. I saw this particular model um, on other stores for upwards of £40. Now in terms of condition, and you'll see additional pictures on B-roll, um, the pins inside are absolutely awesome. There are a few minor surface scratches along the top of the screen right here, but nothing to be, um, you know, overburdened about almost a loud vehicle. Um, so this is really, really nice. I think I'm gonna really beef out the SP collection. Um, I have quite a few SPs actually. I've got quite a few. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna go take a look. Um, so kind of figure that was nice for 30 quid. Um, as an initial start, now I did say as well, uh, let's just put this right here. I did say as well um, that I would be kind of focusing my energy on getting a lot of Sega stuff, but I did pick up a couple, um, a couple of Nintendo e bits as well. Um, so I'll show you that right now, guys. You know the SNES is my baby, right? You know she's my baby. Um, so I kind of picked this up again from the same store as what I picked up the um, Pikachu SP. Uh, we got the Magical Quest on Disney's Mickey Mouse. Now this looks like an awesome little platformer and I've always loved the Disney games, especially Mickey Mouse games on the Sega Mega Drive. So I kind of figured that my passion for that would resonate over on the Super Nintendo with this. Um, the box is in really nice condition. I'd probably give it a good kind of 7.7 slash 8 out of 10. There's not too much damage on the corners. It is box complete with manual. Again, I will probably, rather than kind of fill this video with loads of B-roll, I'll put additional pictures on Instagram. So make sure you guys go and follow me there as I'm, I'm quite, quite, I love my Instagram. Um, I love looking at your Instagram feeds as well. So I kind of figured, like I said, I'd pick this up. I don't see it around too often, but given the fact that, you know, you've got some really solid Mickey Mouse games on the Sega Mega Drive, I kind of figured, I'll put that right there in front of my phone, kind of figured it'd be good to get some love on the SNES as well. Moving on. It's actually quite nice to recline in this, actually. It's actually really nice. We'll go for an N64 game. Now, again, I said, I think you actually saw me pick this up in the hunt video. Um, I don't usually buy unboxed games unless it's something that I really want, and I have been looking for this on the N64. It cost me three quid, um, and it was it was automobile, automobiles? What? I can't even read that. Automobili Lamborghini. Dude, seriously, just Lamborghini, Lambo. Um, three quid, really decent game. If you've not played it, guys, go and check it out. I wouldn't go as far to say as that it was a hidden gem on the um, N64, and I'm kind of cringing. I'll probably buy like the boxed version if I see a copy of a boxed version, and then just kind of give this away or sell it or whatever. Um, but nonetheless, I, it was the only bo unboxed game that I picked up. So we'll go ahead and just talk that right there. Now, check this out for two quid. Two quid, right? What am I about to show you? Two pounds. Game Boy Advance game. Same place as the Pikachu SP. Power Rangers Dino Thunder uh, for two quid. Boxed complete. Um, now again, not played it, but I, I am very familiar with the Power Rangers series on the Super Nintendo and the Sega Mega Drive. And I will admit, I've often enjoyed them. They're quite decent little side-scrolling um, kind of beat em up games really. Um, so I kind of figured I'd give this a shot for £2, it would be stupid not to. Um, the game even has the plastic on it as well, which is really, really nice and the box isn't too shabby. And I think as a collector, and certainly the player is intrigued, the player side of me is definitely intrigued, but as a collector this is something that I think is worth looking out for. Cheap, good condition and a decent series. 
so let's keep going then onto the sake of goodness got a game guide to show you we're gonna bring it in with some 8-bit goodness um ghost house ghost house ghost house ghost house on this sega master system from retromnia shout out to those guys very good store very good prices very good staff by the way um this was looks like a really nice little kind of platform kind of game that my nephew clocked and um, he was looking at this incessantly in the video you'll actually see him if you watch the videos kind of holding it um and he actually wanted me to pick this up so this one's on him so thank you dylan have you played it let me know in the comment section below because i haven't but i did go in there with the intention like i said to snag some sega goodness and this guys is boxed complete now sticking with the big s sega um hard drive um hard driving now again a game that i haven't played for quite some time and back in the day it wasn't one of those games that was massively popular on the sega mega drive but nonetheless it's one that i looked at and i kind of figured you know you don't see it that often um i don't own it so i may as well get it i'm sure i can get some decent play time out of this um, and I believe as well, yeah, this is box complete, albeit manual, as you may be able to see on the glare there, the creases on the glare, um, not the best condition, uh, but nonetheless, I ain't complaining, I think this cost about 10 quid, so not too shabby. Now, next is a game that some of you guys did clock, actually, on um, the retro game hunt, and I think somebody actually said, tell me you picked that up. If you're watching this, I picked it up, guys. We're talking about it on my Facebook recently. We're talking about it on my Twitter recently. It is for 20 quid. Decap Attack. Um, a really awesome, fun game. This is an awesome game. And I'll tell you what, guys, you don't see it around that often. You really, really don't. I know 20 quid might be top end for it. Um, complete, reasonable condition. Um, but I wanted it, so I kind of went in and I, and I picked it up. So let me know what you think. Would you have paid a hello squeak? Would you have paid 20 quid for this? Did I get a bargain? Personally, I think I did. Um, it's a buyer's market at the end of the day. Great game, really fun. Um, and again, what I want to know is when did you first play this? Because this is a really cheeky game. I love this game. Moving on. More sake again. More sake again. Again. Goodness, again. What am I saying? Hello, squeak. Right, we picked up Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. No manual, but I think I paid about £7 for this. Um, again, a game that I've never played. So I was kind of going in with the mentality. Will I play it? Yes, have to tick that box. Do I own it? No, have to tick that box. Let's go for it. And I kind of figured that this was a decent price for seven quid. Again, from the same stall as what I bought the Pikachu SP from. Can we not fight, please, pussy cats? Thank you very much. Um, so if you've played it, guys, let me know. The box is pretty rad, actually. I love the movies. I'm a sucker for a little bit of 80s nostalgia. Please don't use my tripod for you scratching your head on. So I kind of picked this up. Um, again, let me know if you've played it. Doesn't look overly great, but nonetheless, get a couple of hours out of it. I'm a happy lady. Next up then, we have Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Now, this is a bit of a puzzle game. Um, definitely not one that was popular amongst my peers when I was growing up. But because it's the Sonic franchise, I think for me, it was one of those things that back as a kid, people were very intrigued about. Um, and I remember my friend Martin having this. We never had it as a kid. In fact, I don't think I played it until I was an adult, to be honest. Um, decent condition, really nice manual, decent condition cart. Um, even with the kind of Sega sticker on the side right here, which is for some people, I guess they get a little bit fussy about that. For me, not too fussed. Um, but it is a bit of a nostalgia kick. Um, in fact, I wish I had some of them. They would be cool to have in the collection. They're awesome. So yeah, pick this up for 20. I think it's 20 quid. I'm not quite sure. Um, again, I don't really know what to say about it. If you've played it, let me know. Um, not hugely kind of popular game by any stretch of the imagination. But again, you don't see it around that often. So it's now oh, in my collection. Gonna save the game to last that I'm super stoked about. I'm gonna show you a game guide. It was one of the first purchases that I made and it is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Recently snagged a copy of this game from CEX for about eight pounds. So I kind of figured, you know, the, ga uh, the, the game the game guide is in decent condition. It was five pounds and it was one of those earlier purchases, like I said, uh, pretty heavy, but nonetheless, um, I kind of figured, you know, if I'm playing through the game, may as well get the guide. All right, finally then, this is probably my favorite purchase alongside the Pikachu SP. In this little retro game haul, I've been saying it for quite some time. It's from Retromnia. It is a Sega Mega CD game. Guys, it is Final Fight CD um, in really decent condition. I think I paid £40 for this. I'm very, very happy. Uh, well, that's a decent condition. The case is slightly cracked on the back. But with me wanting, I mean, I own two Mega CDs, um, but I do want to get the Sega multi-mega as well 
Um, I'm eager to go and get on this. I haven't even checked it. Oh yeah, that's decent condition. Um, so Final Fight CD, love me some Final Fight CD. It's kind of ironic because Final Fight obviously is a game that we're used to seeing on this um, Super Nintendo. Um, so we've kind of got it on, on a bit of Sega goodness as well. Um, it's obviously the uh, streets of rage of the Super Nintendo is Final Fight. So seeing it on the Mega CD kind of makes me laugh with irony a little bit. But nonetheless, I finally have it in my collection. I'm super stoked. I think it usually goes for about £50 and upwards, but you can get a bargain on it from time to time. I paid for I didn't even haggle on any prices. I just I just paid whatever. Um, so guys, that is it. I am super super stoked. So there we go, a whole heap of new games into the collection. Like I said, follow me on Instagram if you want to see more from the games room, but definitely check out all the links below if you want more from me. Social media wise, there's links to my website. There's absolutely tons of stuff and there's tons of stuff coming. So thank you very much for the support. Guys, hit that like button, punch that red button, and I will see you soon. My name is Gemma, take care. Wait for it. Wait for it. See you soon.